as you saw in this introduction, we're going to be making some pendants. It can be some rings also. I think I would like this, this piece as a ring. It's probably too big, of course, but something a little smaller could be nice. You can do these in all size that you wish and all shapes. And as for the materials, I am going to use UV resin. This is the brand I'm going to use today. I really like it. And for now, this is what I'm going to use. I'm also going to use Pinata alcohol inks. You can use Ranger, but I have noticed that with these, sometimes under my UV lamp, the color changes like blue tend to, to shift to purple. I don't have this problem with the Pinata. If there was only one brand you would like to buy, this is the, the go-to brand because it never shifts under the UV light. I'm also going to use some pigment powder like these. These are from Resin Pro that we have in Europe. And I love these because I don't have uh, alcohol ink that is white. And I like this gold because it's really nice and bright. And also what I'm going to use, this is brand new. I just got these, I think, from AliExpress. I will put the link in the bottom description below. And these are sticky pans. I did know that they were sticky, actually. I saw some people using this in videos using resin, and I thought I would give, give it a try. So I bought three or four, and they're really sticky. Your resin does stick on it, which is quite nice. It doesn't move. You don't have to use tape. I don't know how long this is going to last, though. I don't even know if you can really uh, clean it. I will give it a try. I will tell you over time how it worked. And that's good. And I like to work on a smaller surface because I can turn it around if I need to when I'm working. So this is something perfect and not having a big pad. As for the materials, that's gonna be it. And of course you will need a UV lamp. I've got a small one that I like to use, like this one, just sometimes when it starts spilling. I did spill a little bit because my first layer was too thin. So I like now to have a very small one just for a couple of seconds, five seconds or so, just give it a hit. So it's going to stop. You can cover it up with your hand if you need to. Don't forget to grab some gloves, also a specific mask. Don't use paper mask for resin. Use a respirator with the filters that you can change. This is really important. And also, if you can do that, wear some glasses just to protect your eyes in case you drop the bottle and you've got some projections or something. Gloves, mask, and glasses. And with no further ado, I'm going to stop talking, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and enjoy this video.
And here is the final touch. This is where you can see that everything is really glossy. I love the shapes. So these are the two that we did together. I made three before previous to the video just because I wanted to give it a try. And it's so easy to do. It is not so time consuming because if you use um, UV resin, it's gonna take a very short amount of time to cure between each layer. And I love the look of all of these. Uh, you could, I'm going to show you what it does on your skin as well. So let's say this one here, the one that we did together. This is really sticky. I love these sticky pads. Uh, I will put all the links um, in the description bar below the video. There you go. So this is what it looks on your skin. It doesn't really change much because I've put so many layers. I hope the video will be able to show you the depth because the more layer you put, the better it is. And if you can make it even thicker, it's better. What I've noticed with this resin I use is that the, in the beginning, my first layer was a bit too thin and depending on the brand you use, it might shrink a little bit. So you better do a thicker first layer and work your way up so the rendering will be much better. This is the first one. Again, this is on my skin. I think it's really nice. I'm gonna show you the other one. There it is. I don't know why I prefer this side here. It doesn't really change much, but it darkens a little bit. I am not going to put some white in the background because I think it's really nice the way it looks. When you put it on a darker color than just white, I think it makes the gold pop out much more. So I'm going to keep it as is. And I think it's even, you can see this much better on this one here. So you can see it here on white. I'm going to even put it down so you can see, maybe you can see it better. And now I'm going to put it on my skin. And you know what? I think I like it this way better because it makes really the gold pop out and being so light compared to the two other greens that I've used previously. There's a little bit of blue in there also. This one may be a little different. Again, I did this one previously. I think it's a bit too dark, so I might lighten it up a little bit with some white. I'm not sure it's going to change much because this one is darker. And this one, finally, is probably not my best. That was my very, very first try, and it does change a lot. I don't like it this way. I might try to put another layer on top and change it a little bit, because this is really not my favorite. But, you know, you have to try, and you will get better after doing several, several, and doing again. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't like what you're doing because you will improve and you will make wonders. I'm absolutely sure of that. I have put a little bell on this one. I've used resin to glue it on. I will put another layer of resin here to make it really, really nice. And as you can see, or as you saw in the video, you can sand it very easily. And I used a Dremel-like tool also to do this shape because I went overboard and I spilled a bit too much resin. So this is why if you do it a little thicker, you will avoid that. My first layer was too, too thin, so it went on the sides a little bit but it was really so easy to sand everything down i don't have any issue and look at the sides the sides also are really shiny i have put a little bit of resin to make it really shine after sanding but you don't really have to it's just me because i like when things are really nice looking for all from all sides and that's it so i'm going to finish these tr three this one is completely finished. What you could also do is put a little bit of gold on the outside if you wanted to, gold or silver or any other kind of metallic color, but that would finish it up really nicely. So I hope this video was inspiring for you. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me your comments. Tell me which one do you like? The one with the bell on, the bell on, the one, uh, the red one, that's the only red, or do you like this one with the straight lines or maybe one of the two others here. I am going to split um, this channel. I will post from now on videos onto another channel that is called Crafty Harmony. 
please go there so I will be able to separate English videos to French videos. I think it will be better for everybody so you won't get annoyed by having mails for French videos that you don't really care of, which is normal and French people the same. I've already put some videos there. I haven't put all my videos yet, but I will put all the videos that I have in this channel over there and it takes a lot of time so but all the new videos will be there as well so thank you so much take care everyone and see you soon bye